No, I remember him quite well because he lived in a flat, an apartment, on the top floor of our house. So I saw him quite regularly. He was rather disappointed that I didn't play the piano or that at that age I didn't speak Russian either. He was Russian. But he was very inventive. He worked until one week before his death at the age of 87. And even in his last few years of his life, he was inventing things. During the Second World War, he was fascinated by the noise of bombs that were being dropped on London. He even put a microphone outside the um, air raid shelter so he could hear the bombs coming down better. And he always carried a screwdriver in his pocket. And on one occasion, he was stuck in a lift with my grandmother and he had an elevator, for those of you in the state, in an empty building. And he dismantled the panel in the roof of the elevator and climbed out and got a ladder and rescued my grandmother. My favorite story about my Russian grandfather, which was long before I was born, during the Russian Revolution, he lived in the countryside and they had a cow which got very ill and everybody thought was going to die. And my grandfather looked up in the encyclopedia and decided what the cow required was oxygen in her udder. So he tied up the teats of the udder with blue ribbon and then put a hypodermic needle, a syringe needle, on a bicycle pump and pumped up the udder like a football. And remarkably, the cow that was lying, looking as if it was about to die, in a few hours stood up and was fine. I was told this story by my father, who didn't explain to me, unfortunately, the biology behind it, because this infection was caused by bacteria that are anaerobic and therefore die in the presence of oxygen. So my grandfather's treatment was really good. So my father missed a big opportunity to teach me some good biology. You're going to be watching those, be watching those veins, yes. All right, here we go. You should begin to see that the veins start spinning. Now, well, why does this happen? I don't know, neither you nor I are actually proper scientists. Well, so. this is true, and, and Crookes couldn't work it out either, so I feel quite better about that. OK. But the, the actual, it's not quite a perfect vacuum. Uh, there are some atoms uh, bashing about in there uh, and moving from the lighter side to the darker side. It just gives enough impetus to turn uh, the veins around. 